Now today, we are going to examine the abdomen of the patient. The abdominal examination comprises of examination of abdomen, examination of breast, examination of supraclavicular lymph nodes, examination of back, examination of genitalia, and digital rectal examination. Either you have to examine or you have to mention at least. So, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. So and So. Hai. और मैंने आपके पेट का मुआयना करना है ताकि आपकी बीमारी की सही तशखीस और उसका सही इलाज हो सके आपकी इजाजत है और इस दौरान आपकी हम वीडियो भी बना रहे हैं इसकी भी इजाजत है शुक्रिया स्टेप इज एक्सपोजर ऑफ द पेशेंट आइडियली द एक्सपोजर शुड बी फ्रॉम निपल टू द बट ड्यू टू सोशल सर्कमस्टांसिस वी डू हैव अ लिमिटेड एक्सपोजर एंड वी आस्क द पेशेंट टू एक्सपोज द एबडाम बेटे आप ये कमीज ऊपर कर सकते हैं यहाँ पर मैं आपकी मदद करूं ठीक निपल्स एंड इंफीरियरली वी हैव लिमिटेड एक्सपोजर टिल एंड द पोस्टर फॉर एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट इज सुपाइन एबडामन एक्सपोज्ड हैंड्स बाय द साइड एंड पेशेंट सीधी रखी करता पेशेंट लाइंग कम्फर्टेबली एन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ द एबडाम एंड आई ड्रा इमेजिनरी लाइन्स एंड एंड डिवाइड द एबडाम इन टू फोर पार्ट्स लाइक दिस एंड लाइक दिस एंड आई इंडिविजुअली एग्जामिन ऑल फोर क्वारंट्स ऑफ द एबडाम एंड आई आई डू आ क्लोज inspection of the abdomen where i can see <coughs> everted umbilicus a uh, molar hyperpigmented mark here <coughs> along in cn in uh, right iliac fossa a transverse in cn in supra pubic area and a scar uh, in left inguinal fossa and i can also see foley catheter passed to the patient the second part of the uh, abdominal inspection is inspection by the side थोड़ा सा उस तरफ करें लंबा सांस लें तेज तेज लंबे गहरे सांस लेते रहें एंड इन दिस इंस्पेक्शन फ्रॉम द साइड यू कैन कंपेयर द अपर हाफ विद लोअर हाफ ऑफ द एबडाम बिकॉज इन सम इंस्टेंसेस इन सम केसेस देर इज पेल्विक मैस एंड यू कैन सी अ बल्ज हियर इन दैट केस यू कैन ओनली कंपेयर the this bulge the lower abdomen with the upper, upper abdomen by inspecting from the side whereas the third part of uh, uh, inspection is inspection from the foot end and from here you can compare symmetry of right abdomen and left abdomen and you can compare right side of the abdomen with the left side of the abdomen mete mu thoda side pe phere aur zor se khansi kare by inspecting from the foot end you uh, elicit expansile cuff impulse and uh, comment on the potential sites of ventral abdominal hernia what are the sites epigastric umbilical paraumbilical and inguinal hernia in for palpation of the abdomen we have to have a specific posture of the patient and that is फ्लैक्शन एट द नी जाए ये बेटे घुटने ऊपर कर लें ऐसे दूसरा भी ठीक है हाथ इसी तरह रखें मुंह बिल्कुल दूसरी तरह फिर ऐसे पास थ्री पार्ट्स सुपरफिशियल पैल्पेशन डीप पैल्पेशन एंड पैल्पेशन फॉर विसरा और मैसेस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग सुपरफिशियल पैल्पेशन यू एस द पेशेंट फॉर टेंडरनेस पेट में कहीं दर्द तो नहीं है 
ठीक है मुंह उधर ही रखते मैं आपके पेट का मायना हाथ से करूंगा जहाँ कहीं आपको तकलीफ हुई तो आपने मुझे बता देना ठीक है लुक दिस शुड बी द मूवमेंट्स ऑफ पेलपेशन एंड दिस शुड बी दोजिशन ऑफ हैंड ऑन एबडाम Not this, not like mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Like flat, full flat of the hand should be placed on examination. Okay. During whole of the palpation, you have to look at the face of the patient to notice any tenderness, or uh, any wincing, or any discomfort. The patient is uh, done to elicit guarding or rigidity. Deep palpation is done to elicit tenderness or rebound tenderness or rosing sign in a patient in lower abdominal pain and look at the position of my arm my hand wrist abdomen of the patient and my elbow are at one plate it's not like this it's not the other way so posi- positioning of hands like this first for guarding and rigidity second for tenderness and third for viscera this exam if during this examination you find a lump somewhere then you perform examination of the l- lump particularly for superficial palpation you put whole of the flat of the hand and then make an s shape movement covering all the areas all the areas all the quadrants of abdomen number 2 palpation palpation d that is deep palpation deep palpation is is done for uh, deep tenderness right the third type of palpation is palpation for viscera again you start from uh, left eye leg posa looking at the, looking at the face of the patient acha bete ab munh khole munh udhar hi rakhe aur lambe gehre tez tez saans so you ask the patient to take deep breaths and with downward movements of the abdomen you insinuate your fingers down and then keep it there so that when patients inhales and the abdomen protrudes the viscera touches your hand the enlarged viscera or abdominal viscera touches your hand okay like this you synchronize with the movements of the patient and uh, for hepatomegaly you start palpating from right aleg fossa because liver grows like this you start from right aleg fossa up synchronize synchronizing with the respiration of the of the patient and for you have you are doing palpation for liver mun khol ke lambe saans lete rahe so i can see lower border of the liver here and for splenomegaly as spleen grows from uh, left hypochondrium to right aleg fossa you start from here dobara saans le lambe this is palpation for spleen and in addition to this spleen can be palpated by lifting the uh, left hypochondrium mm-hmm. up and then palpating like this or tilting the patient to right side press left renal uh, region up and palpate with your opposite hand look you stabilize the left renal area you lifted it up mm-hmm. and then you palpate it. similarly the other side then is percussion in percussion is done for lower border of liver
sixth intercostal space and uh, by palpating suprasternal notch mm -hmm. uh, angle of Louis lies at the second intercostal space notch. Mm -hmm. the, then the third space mm -hmm. then fourth space mm -hmm. then fifth space this is six this is seven and ten. so from uh, fifth space placing the fingers in between the uh, in between the ribs you percuss on the muscles then you shift the hand down so here the percussion note becomes done so the the, the span of the liver seems to be it should be around 10 cm so upper border is here and then we see lower border under the, the dullness becomes here the spleen then percussion for urinary bladder so as patient has indwelling catheter bladder is empty and percussion note is resonant all over shifting dullness and thrill. fluid thrill so for fluid thrill you place whole of your hand like this and tap on the opposite side and feel the thrill of the fluid touching your opposite hand in in a obese patient where the abdominal fat is too lax you have to fix the fat by by the patient's hand or by the hand of an, assi an assistant in this way you fix it and then you so that the thrill of abundant abdominal fat is excluded from the examination and now shifting dullness so here it becomes dull to keep you keep on placing the hand on the same side and ask the patient to tilt toward the other side par li taraf curvet le le you wait for 30 seconds and then start percussing towards the dependent side because the fluid has fluid from this side has gone to the dependent side and the dependent side should have been dull by now the as auscultation and you auscultate the abdomen in right lower abdomen because of changing of interface between ileum and cecum the sounds become more clear and audible and in, in in one minute the bowel sounds, bowel sounds should be one to three if they are more than that they are exaggerated then examination of breast, palpation, then in the same position examination of genitalia, in male patient uh, examine, examine the scrotum and testes or testicular for testicular tumors because there are sometimes unexplained abdominal pain and when you examine the scrotum there is testicular tumor and because of uh, metastatic deposits from testicular tumor in the abdomen patients present with pain or mass so not examining genitalia uh, uh, in addition to the abdomen is criminal so so you make the patient sit up and from the back you examine you examine 
the supraclavicular lymph nodes. Why? Because in gastric and abdominal malignancies, left supraclavicular lymph nodes are in involved, they are enlarged and they are palpable. And this is called trousius sign. And these lymph nodes are called Firkos lymph nodes. In the same sitting posture, we examine back of the patient. For tenderness, you look at the face of the patient and you examine for spinal tenderness. And the last is digital rectal examination. Thank you.